Hey guys, this is Rick back from Maple Syrup Tech. So we've been looking at uh, BIOS updates for AM4 for the AM4 platform over the last couple of days. Uh, so far, we've looked at Asus that has co come out with the BIOS for a couple of boards. Uh, we have ASRock that pretty much brought out the update for uh, the um, the new AGSA uh, code for pretty much all its board boards, meaning that now memory compatibility issues for I'd say like from what I'm seeing from the comments and everything for 95% of the memory kits out there seem to be solved now, meaning that the XMP profiles are pretty much loading or that you can input them manually and get uh, the speed that your RAM is rated for. So this is good news all around. Um, so far, however, uh, I've uh, been keeping an eye on MSI. Unfortunately, they have seemed to not released any updates yet for the new AGSA code, which is basically 1.0.0.6. However, um, I did uh, go around the Gigabyte site today. Uh, I was waiting off on Gigabyte because I actually don't have a Gigabyte board, but I was in contact with a couple of my friends that do, and they confirmed to me that the new AGSA code is like for ASRock, like for uh, ASUS. It is pretty much solving all the memory issues that people have been having. Uh, meaning that now your uh, basic mo your memory profiles will be loading and your me memory compatibility issues are pretty much solved uh, in like 95% of the cases. Uh, so we're just going to look really quickly at the site where you can find the new BIOS updates. So uh, for uh, Gigabyte, it's a little trickier in the sense that once you get to the motherboards, it's divided by series. So either you have the, a the Aorus uh, Gaming, the Gigabyte Gaming, the G1 Gaming, or the Ultra Durable series. Uh, so you're going to have to basically figure out your board is in which one of the series. Uh, let's go with Gigabyte Gaming just because this is like the mi main like mainstream boards. I know a lot of people have the Aorus uh, X370. But we're we're still going to look at the we're going to look at the general series. So uh, once again, okay. So we go into products. Uh, sorry, there I went a little quick. Uh, motherboards. We're going to choose Gigabyte Gaming, Aorus Gaming, Aorus Gaming, Gaming. If that's what you have, G1. If you have a G1 board, uh, I'm actually not sure they actually released any or Ultra Durable series for the for for that one. Uh, let's choose Gigabyte Gaming. What we're going to do is we're going to narrow down the search by chipset. So we're going to go to the AMD chipsets and um, we're going to choose X370 B350. And it's going to take up just the, la the line of, uh, of, of X370 and uh, B350. Actually, the Aorus Gamings are here, are coming out here. So this is probably the best uh, category to go into. Um, so let's take uh, the uh, let's try to take the K5 Gaming, which was the first board that they released, um, and that a lot of people uh, got because it was one of the ones that was in stock when Ryzen actually first came out. Uh, from here, we're going to go to the supports page, as with pretty much every other manufacturer. We're going to wait for this to load. Today, it seems a little bit on the slow side. Come on. There we go. Okay, and uh, we're gonna open up the BIOS uh, here. And as you see, if we look at F3C right here, we have the update for AGSA 1.0.0.6. So that's what we're looking for. And on top of it, there's an uh, easy overclock tuner that they added. My friends say it, it's so-so. You're still better off dialing in your overclocks manually and testing it yourself. But there's now an, uh, an easy OC tuner on a lot of the boards, which is uh, easy for someone who's the first time overclocking their system. So uh, this is one of the updates you guys are really wanna, gonna wanna take. Once again, I do this for I did this for my other two videos. I'm gonna do it again, a disclaimer. When you're updating your BIOS, please be careful. Make sure you're in a situation where you're lowering the risk that your system's gonna power down or that you're gonna lose power. Because if your system basically shuts down during a BIOS update, you have a high chance of bricking your board and basically meaning that you have to send it back to the manufacturers. It's a big hassle. So when you're updating your BIOS, please, please make sure that you're I, you're, you're taking all the precautions necessary to try to make sure that your system does not shut down mid uh, update. Um, however, you know, which is why a lot of people will not update for each and every BIOS update, but this guys is a one that is worth it. So do 
grab this new update it's gonna fix a lot of the memory issues that you might have been having with your board so far so it's really something that I would look into if I was you for the BIOS updates okay now um, other than that like I said it's just really disappointing so far that MSI has not released their BIOS updates yet but other than that the other three manufa main manufacturers I know there's more than three but the three big guys which is ASRock, MSI, uh, ASRock uh, Asus and Gigabyte, they've all seemed to be keeping up to date. Even if I look at the date that it was released, Gigabyte seems to be the first one that released it. Unfortunately, since I didn't have a Gigabyte board, I wasn't keeping an eye on, on this one uh, mainly. Uh, so anyway, but I'm still happy to see that they're on top of things. And I looked over, I can't promise you I looked at each and every board, but I looked at least at, uh, I'd say, a half dozen. And all the boards seem to have the update for the new AGSA. So as we did for the other videos, I would really appreciate for anyone uh, watching the video, uh, updating their BIOS, let me know how it's going. Let them, you know, let's in the comments, like answer to let me know what memory kit you're using. Uh, did it work for you? Did it not work? Are you seeing any bugs or anything? Because we're going to help each other and figure out, you know, uh, what, what we can do, what kits are working, what kits aren't. So we've been doing it on my on the other videos I've released for the other manufacturers and a lot of people say it's been helping them because you know for for the rare occasion where your memory kit actually does not isn't you know isn't functional uh, isn't there isn't a higher functionality after the update well at least you can get the information beforehand and you can make the decision to maybe hold off on the BIOS update since it's always a procedure that's a little bit risky so like I said, I hope you guys are appreciating these videos. I'm trying to keep on top of all the BIOS updates and I'm going to try to do this for, uh, you know, all the future ones as well. And uh, I, I, everyone seems to be appreciating the videos. So please leave your comments down below. Uh, likes are really appreciated. Subscriptions are loved. And uh, I hope I see you guys in my next video. So see you guys next time.